Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Urbanus. It is Trixie here with Picatrix. I am going to be using the Mystical Moments Tarot to get a Leo full moon reading going. This is an 18 and up reading as I do have the Sexual Magic Tarot here today to clarify the Mystical Moments. Um, we are going to close out the reading with the Oracle of the Unicorns. And if you're interested in more information, Libra, on the Leo full moon, there is a link down below to Molly McCord's video on the Leo full moon. Um, so Libra, <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, this is going to be for 2023's Leo full moon. Um, we are going to move in here in Libra, find out what's going on for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus Libras. Please keep in mind, I'm not a licensed physician, Libra, so if you're not feeling well, seek out your doctor. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Not every message here is going to pertain to you. All right, Libra. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a moon cycle reading. Hangman here, Libra. So I do see where you're coming out of a pause. You're, the weight of what you're evaluating and perceiving is... Um, tied to that zipper and that perspective is going to pull that zipper down and open up some sort of opening for you that's rather beautiful you've let's keep going here okay the emperor here libra very mature energy um very stable this deck does have 83 cards in it. Um, all four kings and the emperor both have a masculine and a feminine card. So I do feel like you're very confident and sure about what's going on in your outer world. I think in this pause, this state of pause, you are really seeing what it is that you are meant to create with. You have a, uh, it's not, I almost feel like a magnetic pull. It's probably coming at your stomach. And... Um, her dress is actually of the next world. There's clouds on that, like in the top of the zipper there. So she's already of a world that has yet to truly present itself to her. I don't even know that she knows that because she's in her state of freeze. She's in her state of pause. She's um, even got the number four for the emperor there in her legs. And then she's diving into the emperor energy. So I do see here where you know, three times amplified what you're anticipating as positive outcomes in your life here, Libra, are going to uh, effectively over the next four to five weeks emerge for you. Some of you are receiving an award or an accolade in the next four to five weeks. Like somebody's going to reach out to you. Oh yeah, two of cups. Somebody's going to re somebody wants to help you. Um, share something with you, grow something with you. They'd like to intertwine their life with you. They feel tied in some way. You don't see this coming. Um, and I'm not going to tell you how I know that, but you really don't. You, you, uh, you're blinded by this unexpected opportunity. And the reason that this unexpected opportunity with a new fresh face um, that winds up kind of being a mirror of you in all the right ways, the reason you don't see this coming is like you're too busy um, being productive. You're not even busy. You're just like productive, working on what you got to work on in your emperor vibes. You're like, I'm trying to build an empire. I'm trying to change my life. I'm trying to do X, Y, Z. Um, and that draws in some sort of friendship or partnership that feels like a kindred soul, somebody that wants to help you over the course of several months. Um, you might need to get an aloe plant or propagate an aloe plant, or ask for the spirit to guide, guide you towards an aloe plant. You might get sunburnt if you live somewhere where the sun is currently tanning people. Um, be careful, but that aloe plant, if you were to take a leaf from an aloe plant, yeah, you're, um, and take like a knife, you open it up and you take a knife and put slashes through the aloe, you can take the aloe plant and just slather it directly on your body, and it's like you'll heal overnight from whatever burnt you. There's some sort of natural ingredient or natural um, healing agent that's around you that's changing things and allowing your energy to <clears throat> be amplified. Emperor. <laughs> All right, here, Libra. I, you know, some of you are going to meet your divine counterpart if you're single. If you're in a relationship, you and your partner are going to sit down and have a real heart-to-heart -heart and work over the next couple months on how to build this 
relationship in a more positive aspect. I feel like you're going to kind of go backwards in your relationship and reevaluate um, how y'all got to where you're at and what you both can do to make changes in life so that you can start to attract um, more abundance. I mean, emperors have all the abundance in the whole world and two fours equals an eight. So you're divinely orchestrated and being guided to do what you're being called to do. And um, to have both emperors out here tells me you're very, very balanced, Libra. You know exactly what is going to happen in some capacity, even though it's going to still shock you um, at the end of this four to five weeks. Now, she is wearing ballet. She's actually wearing point shoes. Okay. Um, so you could meet this emperor at a show, the theater, um, something that you have to buy tickets to, a comedy show. Some of you really like comedy. You need to go to a comedy show here in the next four to five weeks. Something local will do. Um, actually, unexpectedly, if you were to go to an event unexpectedly, that's kind of just like local pricing, you know, it was like inexpensive support your local up and coming comedy or, com you know, comedian or, um, Ted talk host or like, it's something like that, like something very, or, you know, a high school's putting on a play and you go to that play. Um, I feel like telling you that at that event, somebody who's like famous or more well known, their face is more well known by people you meet that person. Is that your divine counterpart? I don't know. They could introduce you to your divine counterpart. They could be friends with your divine counterpart, but there's something here about fame and fortune over the next four to five weeks, maybe two months for some of you, Libra. Your fortunes, your resources, um, the decisions you're making are long-term goals. They're not short-term in any capacity. Your investments are more, uh, you're looking at life through the lens of an emperor. The world. Yeah, your world's shifting wildly. You're really closing out some sort of cycle. You've been, um, uh, page of wands. Has somebody been spying on you, Libra? Have you been spying on somebody? Let's see what the sexual magic trail here is. The tower's in reverse with the hangman. So you definitely are avoiding some sort of tower moment in the next four to five weeks. I want you to understand you're being guided and directed during a pause period to really see the light, to see the reality of something in your life and understand that you are at the core and the center of your world. And so long as you're willing to admit and, and be open to receiving the help that's being guided and granted to you, you will always prevail. Um, the three of wands is clarifying this emperor. Did you have two, three, four here? Um, and a five. <laughs> so the king of wands came out for the two of cups. You know, this, the, the new energy in your life that shows up, it may have a lot of fire energy that comes in um new but new fresh fire energy this is all new energy this isn't i kind of want to tell you too libra if you if you're not in a relationship and you meet somebody you need to keep this behind closed doors like just you and this person don't allow other people to know what's going on in your life just date this person you might have multiple people actually um just date them don't talk about it you don't need other people's opinions you know what's right for you and what's wrong libra if you're in a relationship I feel like you and your partner are going to start dating again, like going out on dates, not just like sitting at home eating the same damn shit all the time. You're really going to step into a vibration Libra in your partnership or as a single where you are going out, you're experiencing your, your, um, your life, your experiences. There's a massive Mars placement that you need to go look up. Your Mars placement is just like on fire. Some of you, it might even be, I'll leave it at Mars. Um, and that Mars placement is what is drawing in and attracting this double emperor energy here. And we could get a third emperor here, but with this uh, sexual magic tarot here. But overall, it's like 
this tower moment in this this tower and this sexual magic tarot that guy standing behind the man that's the tower okay the man that's getting it in the man behind him is her actual lover he's like envious that she's cheating she's cheating so i feel like there's something here in the reverse that you could be tempted if you're in a relationship or your partner may be tempted and they're going to come home and admit to you that um they were tempted but they just know you're the one if you're in a relationship somebody could come back around um there if you're single i i see this situation where you are you're involving yourself with multiple people but every time that somebody's not down for you like a red flag is there i see you communicating about that red flag and depending on how the person across from you responds or reacts allows you to know whether or not you should continue forward or not i uh you know libra this is your whole world is shifting and changing you are literally at the you know the head of it all you're much bigger libra than most people around you in the sense of um your idea what your your goals are what you're working towards the emperor and judgment so judgment was in reverse you might you might struggle to believe that this is your calling i I do. I see you on pause and it's like this perspe perspective shift is allowing you to let go of all that is not a wish come true. Um, this world is being clarified by the moon and the page of wands in reverse. Yeah, there's the moon has something hidden from you. And, and, you know, over the next four to five weeks, that is going to open up and reveal itself to you. Um, and I feel like telling you, she has like a, um, actually like a hornet's nest on her head, I believe. So there's something where like you, you engage with some type of energy, Libra, that other people actually kind of fear. Um, and that's your calling you understand or see or experience life in some capacity maybe at your job there's like a promotion or a job title that you are like for you that looks very appealing everyone around you is like oh my gosh no i would i would never do that and you're like all right well that just tells me even more that i need to do it um i see here libra where this is an interesting reading because Everyone else has gone almost double the time, and I like I'm, I like want to throw out your unicorn card and just be done with this reading. Like I, um, Libra, it's it's wild to see how you have help coming in the form of a lot of masculine energy. Uh, you may not even realize that you're calling in masculine energy, which means that if you're attracting masculine energy, it's because you're in feminine energy, and that is a new perspective for you. That's a shift. Um, you actually may have people fighting over you over the course of the next, for some of you, it's like two months. This reading is really only intended for four to five weeks, but I have tarot readers I follow that I they say the same thing and it'll be like three months later that what they talked about happened. So, you know, everybody's story is a little different and, and the steps that you're taking to get where you're going, Libra, are individual, they're personal, and no two people are experiencing this life in the same way. And I, I sense that, you have a, a person, in a situation, let's call this, you have a contract, your soul contract with something energetically in your life that is connected to a fire placement. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Mars, Pluto, maybe the sun. Um, and that energy is revealing some things to you that you cannot unsee. And as you see these things about your life, you are making adjustments accordingly. And you're doing it sans any advice or help. You are taking all of the advice from your inner knowing, from your inner guide. You're allowing yourself to realize that you're your own best friend. You are your own help. You are your own twin. Some of you have a pretty prominent Gemini placement that if you start to research that, you would realize um, all the help that you have is within you, okay? And um, 
So I'm, I'm picking up Libra here where this pause or this four to five week period where you might feel a little bit of stagnation. You might feel a little bit of stress around the changes that are happening. They're all positive. They are giving you the double emperor. Um, the universe is really asking you to spend time with your angels anytime that you feel overwhelmed. But overall, I'm really picking up that there is a there is like fire energy in your life right now as you're watching this Libra that in four to five weeks time, again, for some of you, it's like two months that just isn't going to be in your life anymore um, at the end of this Leo full moon. And the reason that it's not going to be in your life is because you have much more. Um, what word do I want to use? Some people would say alignment. You have connections that are similar fire placement connections as what's um, exiting your life, but they are much more in alignment with who you are and what kind of person you're aiming to become in the future, okay? And Libra, that's something where you have to understand that in order to make room for energies that are more suited for the evolution of your journey and what's best for you, you do have to be willing to let go of connections that are not good for you. Investments, um, expenditures, relationships, whatever that means for you. But overall, I, what I'm seeing, Libra, is that you're not even really paying attention to what's exiting. You're paying attention to what's entering. And that's what's attracting and drawing in these connections that you're going to want to intertwine with. You're going to want to work with. You're going to want to direct and to teach and to ask help from. I mean, an emperor doesn't even think about asking their liaisons and their assistants to do what they need them to do. And so I feel like you have some sort of vibe Libra, where you need to open up and admit to yourself here with this tower and this hangman that um, you're a leader. And when you honor that leadership role, um, the King of Wands, the Emperor, the Emperor here, your whole world's going to drastically shift. I don't. It's not going to be an overnight thing, so don't fear that, Libra. It's like, you know, you're slowly just going to, like I said, there are going to be things in your life that happen that are outside of your control. And that's when you're going to know how to move. That's how you're going to know what direction to go in, how to respond to circumstances, and make moves behind closed doors that have nothing to do with anybody but you so that in four to five weeks time um, you may feel a little judged about the decisions that you're making or what you're opening up about or what you're changing in your life but the reason that I feel like you're feeling judged is because the energy that you're avoiding um, having a tower moment with is going to feel a little bit slighted they're going to feel they're going to judge you for the decisions that you made, but you're going to have that opportunity, Libra, to sit down with that situation or those connections, those relationships, and be like, hear me out. Put your feet in my shoes. And in response, you get to hear that from their side as well. But the difference is, is that you've been where they've been, and now you're on the other side of it. You're experiencing the side of it that for you you were in the place of pain before when you went through this and now you're in the place of trying to help guide people to realize that they need to make better decisions for themselves you have those level of guides and now it's your turn to be that kind of guide for other people libra um that comes with patience that came comes with understanding that um you don't need to force any conversation you don't need to force any situation that the universe will show up and present you with the exact scenario, the exact circumstances here with this world card that you need in order to close out whatever cycles are closing out over the next four to five weeks for you. Um, full moons always bring in release. And so um, release is about acknowledging that by releasing whatever the energy is, we invite by the new moon uh, replacement energy that's much more suited to the version of us that we're trying to really grow and become and evolve into okay um, let's go ahead and close out this reading though Libra with an oracle of the unicorn find out a little bit more um, <clears throat> from your angel guides okay courage you are safe fear is an illusion and set strong boundaries yeah I kind of I you know that's a great way to close out this reading um <sighs> Libra, you are setting boundaries. Um, emperors don't think about the boundaries they're setting. They trust that they have conquered those lands and those lands are 
destined to belong to them. And those lands will be overseen by people that they trust um, with their property, with everything. Um, you have a lot of things going on in your life where if there is any fear around you in any capacity, I do see you being like, I don't have time for that. We're not in that vibe. That's not where I'm at. Uh, I'm sorry that you're going through that. I don't resonate. And um, that's enough. That's enough of an answer. You know, you don't have to explain to people. Um, so beautiful energy, Libra. I'm really excited for you. I think you have a lot of peaceful situations coming into your life over the next four to five weeks. Please check out all of your big four, your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus to get a total picture on the channel. And if you're not a member, please subscribe down below by hitting that button. And I will get it to you next time, Libra.